Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you doing? Thank you for all those who like and share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you for all those who give donation and give private readings. And thank you for all those who go onto my web and purchase my items. Okay, um, Pisces. Um, first of all, let me put on my oils. Okay. And then let me put on my oh let me put on my okay my evil eye Pisces, I want to say thank you for all the prayers that went out for Renee and also for Lisa Robinson. Lisa Robinson, father passed away last night at 7 p.m. So I would like for everyone to please send Lisa Robinson's father prayers. He passed away yesterday, last night at 7 p.m. So please send out her prayers to her and her family. And um, Lisa, I love you. And this is going to be hard. But you're going to be okay. Miss Renee, your son has been in my prayers. And I thank each and every one of y'all who reached out and left many a comments to Miss Renee. But please listen Lisa Robinson's prayers because her father passed away last night at 7 p.m. And he was bad way. He fought it till he couldn't fight it no more. Okay, so to go into the hospital to get a simple operation, a very simple operation, and not make it back out, that tells you that life is too precious to be going through nonsense with people that you love. And I just want y'all to know that. Okay? Just know it. Life is too precious to go and be mad or not speak to people that you love. Because you don't never know when it's that person's last day. And we don't know when is our last day. So we need to be a little bit more kinder. Even if you don't feel like you need to be. Be kind. Be very kind. Tomorrow, today, five minutes, a second is not promised. All right? So I'm sending all good energy out. Good energy to all. To each and every one of us. Cross watchers. Everyone, the universe, for peace, harmony, and respect, prosperity, health, and abundance. Um, so I'm going to jump into your reading. But I want to say thank you for all those who have ordered my salt baths. Your order's already been out. Everyone's order went out yesterday, so you should be receiving them in three days, okay? This is the salt bath. I have herb bath. I have all my candles, okay? The black magic, the health and abundance, and prosperity candle. The love candle. The love yourself candle. And I always keep the justice candle lit. Warner bath is a must. Cleanse your house with stuff, honey. Cleanse your house. Get rid of things that you don't need anymore. Get rid of that. All right? This is my Palo Santo. And I don't burn it because I it makes my allergy messed up. 
But my Palo Santo is full of beautiful things, honey. Beautiful things, okay? So I'm burning this for good energy and to get rid of all bad energy. And so here it is. And I have this that fits perfectly well, perfectly well in here and it it's no problem. It goes out. And that's what you need. And I bought that from Walmart. Or you can get that from Home Depot, okay? So let's move along. So here's all my jewelry. And I have all kinds of jewelry. And I love these. And I never take them off, okay? As you can see, I had them on a long time. And they don't pop or break on me. And that's what I love about this jewelry, okay? That is beautiful. And people ask me all the time about them. So um, I don't let people touch them. But, um, you know, I just tell them where they can get it at. All right? All right, Pisces. I also have um, stones and crystals. And I'm going to start to read it. And again, thank you for all the prayers that are going out to Lisa Robinson's father that passed away last night at 7 o'clock. And he gave a fight. He looks like he wasn't ready to go. But you never know. You never know what you're going in there for and not come out. So please be generous to people that you don't even speak to. You're mad. Be generous. All right? All right? And thank you again for Miss Renee's prayers to her son. Thank you. All right, let's get this reading started. And I want to jump into it. Okay? All right. So. All right, Pisces. Here we go. Oof. I asked Jonah R. Art Michael in the universe to come into your reading and help me do this reading. To come into your reading and help me do this reading. Okay. Here we go. All right. All right, spirits, let me know what I need to know. So you got the Hermit, and you also got the Nine of Wands. The Hermit and the Nine of Wands, right? Pisces, we all been in a Hermit mode. We've been in this hermit mode for a minute, right? And there's a lantern right there. And it has a star in that lantern. And on this particular card, it's like it got that writing that Kelly reads. Kelly reads, the, the man that reads tarot. This is what the kind of reads that he do, okay? So he would know what that means. Um, but with this hermit, with this hermit is, um, is Mercury and Saturn, and it is, um, Virgo, right? So you're going deep within yourself, and this is searching for that light. And who is that light? It's your light. It's your light. 
It's that spiritual light that you search for. You're going within. And a lot of Pisces are in hermit mode. In hermit mode. And when you have the nine of wands, it represents the moon in Sagittarius. The moon in Sagittarius. Okay? Um, also, um, the hermit is here telling us that um, it's that inner search, searching for in this earth sign, all right? Um, a wish fulfillment, final adjustment, realization, attachment. So sometimes we go in deep, deep inside of us, and we have to learn to detach from whatever it is that we're walking in this path. And this path is very spiritual. With the nine, okay, is something here that you have put together, right? But you're going through a realization. You, you walk in in your spirit, okay? You in this hermit mode, right? You in this hermit mode. And you're searching for that inner light. There lies at the end of the tunnel, right? Um, you have you are determined, all right? You're very determined. And this this journey may be difficult to go in, but it's the it's worth it all, right? It's worth it. And as you go through this journey. You're going to have a lot of things that you're going to open up and see. It's a lot of inner search. And it's a lot of work to be done. And it's telling you, you know, whatever doesn't kill you is going to make you strong. All right? You searching and whatever doesn't kill you is going to make you strong. And it ain't nothing that you can't overcome. It ain't nothing that that hermit cannot overcome. Because you're searching for that inner side, that inner soul, that inner spirit that lies in you. And it's telling you at the end of this journey, you will really see what you've been looking for. And it's very deep because what you've been looking for it's that light that lights your soul. Okay? And it's telling you, do it. And even though you may go through difficulties, do it. Because at the end of all of this, what it does is pushes you to persevere. And there ain't no limitations. And remain open and trust as you do. And trust as you do. And I'm going to say it again. And with this journey that you take it, I'm not going to say it's easy. But I'll tell you what. If you walk it, it's going to teach you a great lesson. If you walk it, it will teach you a great lesson, right? And it says, don't give up. Don't give up now because you're almost there. you almost around the corner for success. And something may surface that threatens your feelings of your security and your achievement. But it's important for you to remember how far you come. Okay? Don't see this minor setback as a symbol of failure. Step into your realization because you're almost there and it's pushing you to complete this task because tomorrow you will see that light. 
and you can rest. Okay? Now, with this, whatever it is that's threatening you, in the shadow, this card suggests that you make things harder than necessary or being over defensive. Okay? Being over defensive. You may even be um, choosing the more difficult path than you believe on some level that healing should be difficult. Did you hear that? You may feel that what you're going through, this healing may be difficult. And you may be um, making it more difficult than what it is. But you're going through this light and you're searching for what you need to search. And it's your soul. It's who you are, damn it. It's deep now. Come on, Pisces. Whatever you're going through, you already know that we're going through it. And whatever it is that's in front of you, and you're making it harder than what it is, right? Harder than what this is. It's like you're standing in your own way. But trust and believe in me, you are almost there. You can't give up on yourself. You can't think that all things is bad and that you're making it more difficult than what it is because it's that moon. It's that moon there, right? It's that moon that it always have you thinking, right, in a negative way or making things harder than what it seems to be. But the hermit, it's looking for that inner light, and that's what you're doing. You're doing all this work, all this work, and you think, well, when I sit this here, all these birds are going to come and tear it all up, right? So you're making it where I'm going to tie it, tie it, tie it, but ain't no telling if all the work you've done, right, they'll tear it up in the sand. Don't worry about somebody trying to tear it up. Keep going. Keep going. Don't let nobody. When I mean nobody. Because this is pushing you to be the best that you're going to be in life. And you got to remain open and trust as you do. Trust who? The hermit. Because the hermit has a lantern. And they're searching for that light. And that light is you. It's showing you that you can be the best you can be. And that the work you've been doing on yourself is not wasted. It's not wasted. And what you're going through as you go down that road is telling you that you're finding who you are. And you make a difference. And within who? Within you. And at the end of this, you're going to see that you're going to be in light, in this great big light, and that you made it to your destiny, even though that road was hard. It wasn't easy. And you had a lot of complications along the way, but you made it. You made it there. Okay? And that's okay. It's okay if you, if you feel like, Things are hard and you can't, you're making it harder because that's a part of life. You're not a failure. You're learning. Okay? Tell me more. The Empress. You're giving birth. Again, that moon keeps showing up. That moon is showing up. But you lit up. You lit up. And this is the Empress, right? And it comes right after, right before the highest priest. And who is the highest priest? Pisces, right? But then you get this, the Empress. So you're going through a lot. You're going through this journey, right? The Nine of Wands tells you that that moon is Sagittarius. But then 
you still going through it, right? But now you go through the Empress. The Empress is elegant, sexy, okay? She gives birth, all right? She gives birth to a child, to a business, all right? To your dreams, whatever it is that you've been carrying for nine months. Or what, this path that you've been going through as the hermit. With all kinds of things to stand in your way. It's like you in a it's like you in a in the woods or you out there that you don't even know where you at and you're lost. Right? And you're trying to find a way where you can see a main road. Where you can walk and you can see where it's going to tell you to go. But you're lost. And through all of this, you got that lantern that's leading you. And even though you don't know if it's bears or tigers or lions, threaten your life. But you find a way to see the light through all these struggles that you're going through. And you may hear noise and then you look and see if that's what you think it is. But it's not. Right? You cannot give up because you're coming into giving birth to something that you have passion for, that you have love for, that you have nurture. Right? Did you know that you carried as a mother, you're going through the pains of the labor because nobody said it would be easy. But when you have that birth, all the pain goes away. Because then you see, oh my God, my bundle of joy. And that's what it feels like you're going through. But you can't give up on yourself. Because you're giving birth to what you love. And what you are passionate about. And whether you're giving birth to a real child or you're giving birth to a business, or you're giving birth to um, a relationship, whatever it is. No one said it would be easy. Or you are giving birth to you, to a new life, to a new way. Right? And you must be kind and love yourself and nurture yourself because no one said this would be easy. But I tell you no lie, when you finish going through this journey, you're going to be very happy. Okay? Tell me more. Tell me more. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more. Okay? And so, with this, um, with this empress, and the empress is number three, Taurus, Earth. Okay, you're gonna be you're gonna be very happy. Taurus, Earth, Virgo, fixed sign, okay? Very creative. Very creative. Okay. So let me tell you something, Pisces. You're getting ready to get into something that's gonna be beautiful for you. All right. Beautiful for you. All right. But that moon is there, and that moon can play a lot of tricks on you. And you can't let that moon play tricks on you, all right? You can't allow it to. you come a long way now, all right? And, and you might make a little bit of adjustment with this, but you're going to be fine, okay? Because they say, whatever don't kill you will make you strong. And it's telling you, you know you can get over this. You know you can get there. And remember, the Empress is giving birth. So you've been carrying this for nine months. And it wasn't easy. It wasn't easy. No one said it was easy. But you're doing it so elegant. And you look, you, it's like you're showing every bit of your body. And look how good you look after you have birth. You got your body right. You're looking good. You look like a mother looks. You know, but you know, after birth, you're all tired. You're still looking heavy. You're taking that weight off you. You're looking good. All right? It's like this, this, this heaviness. It's a heaviness. 
but you're going to overcome it, all right? And you might be, it's like you're working on that shadow. But look at this. Isn't this amazing? So then I say at the end, you will have it all. Okay? Now look, remember I told you, you're walking through this, right? And it's that moon. It's like you searching. And don't let it, along the way, as you go through the nine, it's saying don't give up because you're almost there. But things have threatened you. Things happen. Things happen in anything you do. Because if you built a house, do you know by the time you built it, how many times you done change shit? Okay? It's just like a wedding. You got a wedding, you got all these plans, but as the plans go on, you're spending more money. Okay? It's whatever it is in your life that you're giving birth to. Yes, it's not going to go smooth. But at the end of it, look at this. At the end of this search, look what you get. At the end of having this baby, right? This, this, this baby, look. You got the baby. You got that family. You got the cat, the dog. Everything. Look how happy you look. Look. You look very happy. After everything you've been through, now you're looking happy. Okay? You're looking happy here. Right? You're looking happy. All right? So, um, it's telling you that whatever you're going through, at the end, everything, the childbirth, the going through it, the, all the, all, every, I mean, everything. Because it ain't nothing peaches and cream here. Okay? It ain't nothing peaches and cream. But it's telling you through everything you're going through, it's going to be worth it. All right? Let's move on. Let's move on. Okay? So, like I said, we go through shit, but at the end of everything, it's worth it. It's like telling you everything you're going through in life is, is teaching you a lesson. And it says, I remember every details of that day. I want to tell you how I feel. So somebody remembers every details of walking through this shadow. Okay? Walking through the shadow of the valley. And it may have been, I mean, a lot of shit you learn through walking through this. Pisces, and that ain't lie. We've been through a lot in our lives. And a lot of a lot of craziness happened, right? Relationships, jobs, the the deaths, okay, childbirth, everything. But it says, I remember every detail of that day. Everything that ever happened to you, you can remember because you're walking through it, right? And it says, I want to tell you how I feel. So you remember everything you've been through, but somebody wants to tell you how they feel about everything you went through with a person. Everything. You remember everything, but now they want to tell you how they really feel. Even though you went through chaos and you can't forget what you went through. It's always a memory, but they want to tell you how they feel, and that's a good thing. They want to tell you how they feel. So, yes, yes, honey, check it out, Pisces. Check this out. You went through, through, you went through a lot. You walk, you have to walk it, and... And you remember everything you've been through. You remember every details of them days that you went through it. And but look what happens at the end. Okay? And guess what? Somebody here wants to tell you about it. And apologies, talking things out. But it wasn't easy. But you're there. Okay? Let's move on. But you're there. All right? Now, 
Let's move on with this. Let's see. Let's grab this. So that's where you was at. So let's find out what is going on with your life now. Let's find out what is going on with your life right now. Spirits, tell me more about this hermit and this nine. Okay? So, so you got the king of swords. Somebody's what they swords down with. Okay? And there's an, a, a butterfly here. It's a butterfly. And that, that, that butterfly is looking at some information. But this king of swords now has got the swords down. There ain't no argument, no fighting, whatever it is, right? And again, then you got what? The ten of cups. This family coming together. And then you got the Seven of Pentacles, right? The Seven of Pentacles. And this is pretty good because everything that you've been working on, you are going to get stronger with this relationship, whatever it is. A strong precision, um, speeding progress, self-made, elevation. Accomplishment, clear progress, set a uh, Saturn and Taurus, confidence. Okay. Um, a pause in the status of gratitude and reflecting on your journey. And it said it right here. You've been through a journey, right? And it says, um, waiting for the harbor of your fruits of your labor. You remember this? It's talking to you, honey. The labor, giving birth, right? The labor, um, of your labor, of a sign to keep going. And that's what the arm is saying. The fruits of your labor, a sign to keep going. All right? So, that's a good thing. As I give thanks for what I am about to harbor, I know that my life is headed in the right direction. Seeing a full, seeing your full potential in a specific goal, action from a position which is positive position with promises results. The right decision have Florence in in finishing into what you've been doing. So that's what it's saying. You got the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. And it's literally telling you the king of Aquarius. The king of 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 oof, I can't even speak right now. Air sign. Gemini Libra Aquarius, the king. And the Ten of Swords is this happy person, a rainbow. The rainbow is shining um, on the water. Look at that. Look at that. Look at the moon. I mean, look at the moon. The reflection, right? And it came out twice, right? And with this, you got it right here. This is exactly what it's telling you. All right? That's exactly what it's telling you. And I just spoke and told you everything about it. And with the Seven of Pentacles saying that you're going to be fine. All right? That as you give thanks for what you are about to harbor, you know that your life is heading in the right direction. So it's telling you that somebody here wants to come to you and have this unit, this family. And it's, and it's you got the Ten of Pentacles completion with this family, this union. And the Seven of Cups says, don't worry because everything else is going to fall into place. Okay? Everything else that you wanted is going to fall into place. All right? 
And that's a beautiful thing for that. And this, this is a real story, and it's telling you straight down the line. From the hermit to the ten, where you already been through, through, through having birth, through everything you've been through. And through every difficult moment that you went into this journey from the beginning. Nobody said it was easy. But then here comes this person in your life, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, and wanting this ten of cups with you. Ten of cups. That family, that everything, right? And it says, the seven of pentacles, here they come, you know, saying that, you know, we're getting ready to pick up the fruits of what we've been working on, okay? And we're getting ready to get this money with this happy family because it seems like somebody done the work, both of y'all, right? And it says, um, let's see what else is telling you about this empress, the birth, giving birth to this child. It wasn't easy, painful, right? You have to learn a lesson with this tower. Again, you have to learn a lesson. And this lesson was to teach you to be strong, right? Because it was lightning. Yeah, it scared you. But it didn't tear nothing down. As a matter of fact, it gave you a platform. It gave you a platform. Right? To stand in front of it. That's what it did. So, in other words, it had to happen because you had to rebuild yourself. The relationship had to come different. And a tower is good. A tower is good because it scares you, right? And as you can see, this bird is flying. Is a bird here on on sitting? It ain't scared of it, but then the other bird is flying because the lightning scared him. All right. So this tower moment saying, you know. It might be scary, but you ain't, nothing here is falling apart. As a matter of fact, it's a platform, it's a stage. They're saying, yeah, we made it. Through all, through everything. Through the good, the bad, we there. All right? Even though it's a lightning and it rained last night, right? But it's a new day, all right? So tell me more about the 10. Uh-oh. There we go again. So now we got a couple. We got the emperor and the empress. The first one that came out was the empress. And now the emperor is coming out. All right? So you have everything here. And someone here is looking at you like you are Miss Queen. B. Miss Queen B. All right. Now, sure, we went through it all. All right. But this man, whoever this is, is not giving up. All right. With that, with that tower comes this emperor. And this emperor is growing. Look, look, look at this. You, okay, so you got this tower and that platform. Now look at this. Look, look, look at this. The roots. And look how you, look how it came out. Okay, so I'm going to say it again. You see this tower, the platform, the tree, but then look what replaces it. The emperor standing on that platform with roots on it. Okay? Do you understand? It's like everything is going to fall into place for you. Everything. 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 You, you may, yeah, you may have rocky roads, but it ain't going to do nothing because you, you're going to do the right thing. Okay? You're going to do the right thing. And that's what it's telling you. Don't worry about it. Everything is going to be fine. Okay? 
Tell me more. With the 10, there's going to be celebration. You got the will of fortune. Okay? You got whatever it is that you're working on. It's going to bring you together with people that want the best for you. Okay? And you got somebody here with braids. You got a mother here. You got a daughter. It's like a family coming together. Okay? A family coming together. And it's everything you wanted. And again, you're standing on that platform. It's like everything you wanted is going to work out for you. And it's the universe is going to make sure it works out for you. And don't ever try to control nothing. Let it flow. Don't control it. Because... It's going to work out, and it's it's going to be pretty decent what you're getting, okay? Pretty decent what you're getting, all right? It's a good thing. So, like at the bottom of this tree, it says, let go of it. Untie yourself and don't control nothing. Just let it go. Don't try to control anything because you cannot control the will of fortune. You cannot. You just let it go. All right? Because don't try to control anything because there's too much green around you. All right? You know, don't stand your head over something and be like, well, it's not going to work out. And this and that and that and this. Don't do that because then you self-talking negative to yourself. And when you do that, it's not good. You can't get nothing good coming out. Negativity. All right. You can't be stuck in your head about all this stuff that is not good for you. All right. Self imprisonment. All right. Don't do that. You can't grow if you like that. All right. Tell me more about this king and this family with the seven of pentacles. Tell me more. Tell me more. The page, look at this architect, all right? Architect, somebody that likes to draw, into drawing, into painting, all right? Building, okay? A plan, all right? The page of, um, the page of, um, the page of wands comes with a plan, right? Now, what is the plan? Somebody young, some news, all right, creating a project, um, a new career, excited about what this news is. And somebody look like they making plans, or maybe they want to move in, oops, oops, to move in or to take it to another level. But this person may be younger than you or um, it's a project that is in a beginning stage. So whatever it is, it's like, you know, you starting off very young. It's like beginning. And it's, the, the pages bring you news, all right? And like I said, this, this whole thing with this person coming into your life, um, is they young and, you know, it's a young person. Or maybe you younger than them, but they're younger than you. Um, some kind of news of being of creating some type of project, or it's in your career, but you're very excited for the news that's coming your way. Right? Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. Tell me more about this emperor. The seven of pinnacles with this emperor. This person's been doing a lot of work with this seven of coins, right? Again, again, let me see, because I thought I've seen this. See this? You got it twice. Right there it is. So whatever it is, whatever this emperor is, right, is showing a lady, right? And now, and now it shows 
Um, and whoever this lady is, love animals, right? And look at this, that golden egg, right? That golden egg. It's like, I have something to give you. And it's like, it's ready, it's hatched. You know, it's like this golden opportunity is there for you to have. And don't give it up because it's there for you. Um, The sevens, lucky, confident. What is this mysterious thing that he got in his hand? All right? Um... A lot of beautiful things is coming, and it keeps telling you, all right? Um, a strong position, speed, progress, self-made. Somebody is very put together, all right? Um, as I give thanks for what I am about to harbor, I know that my life is heading in the right direction, okay? You are going to be seeing success clear as day. Time to reveal progress, okay, and your pretension. Um, something here, hard earning effort pays off nicely. So whatever it is that you working on, whatever this person's working on to bring you, Whatever this project is, whatever this news is, it's going to be well worth it. Whatever you've been through, relationship, whatever, somebody's coming with a good offer to you. All right? Tell me about this world of fortune and how this getting out of your mind. All right? Whatever this tower was that came into your life, came into your life to teach you a lesson. And it's a good lesson, okay? Now, you see all this city lights, right? Everything is lit up. It ain't nothing here tore down. Everything is lit up, okay? The same as this tower. This tower, nothing feels like it's out of place, all right? So, everything is happening to you. Right on time. And it was a painful trans transition. So it was painful that you went through it. But it's worth it. But it's very worth it. Okay? Because it's a need for you to get out of your head. Okay? It ain't worth it. Get out of your head. Get out of your own way. Alright? The tower brings you lessons. All right, it teaches you lessons. All right, areas, um, marks. All right, and it may bring some kind of destruction, but it ain't nothing you can't handle. All right, but tell me more about this tower. The lovers. All right, like I said, it ain't nothing you can have. You can't handle Gemini. All right. You're going to have to make a choice. You're going to have to make a choice. All right? And that's what it's telling you. You know, you're going to have to choose what you want to do or who you want to be with. All right? So maybe it's two people here. But you're going to have a choice to make. All right? Because somebody here don't look like they want to play games. And they're going to give you a choice. And it's up to you to make it. And that's why that tower is there. And that's why that will of fortune is there. Because somebody got to fall off that will of fortune. It's three people in there. And it's going to just leave you with two. But somebody got to come off of that. All right? And that's why you sitting there thinking, 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 thinking. It ain't nothing to think about. All right? You're going to have to choose. And that when you choose it, then you get... It's like somebody here looks like they're choosing this water side. All right? Um, Pisces. You, you went through a major transformation. And you will be going through 
these tower moments because it's something here that you know you need to do. And but you did a lot of work on yourself. Okay? But it's something here that you're gonna have to make a choice, or this person's gonna have to make a choice. All right? And that's what it means. But everything does good, all right? To build a family with you or whatever it is, but someone here needs to make a choice, all right? And stop trying to control the situation and stop being in your head over this. And oh my God, would it work? I'm scared that it, this is not gonna work. It didn't work before. Would it work this time? I'm scared, scared, scared. Well, you need to stop being scared because it's all about you. All about you, right? Um, and it's telling you, you know, with, with the eight, check it out, the lovers. And the thing is that at the bottom of of this cup, right? It's telling you to move forward. You know, you got to move forward, right? And let go of whatever it is that is keeping you. Let go or release that which no longer serves you. So it's somebody you're going to have to release here. You're going to have to make up your mind and see what you want to do. A ritual release, a time to move from being stuck in this energy, right? Um, walking away, leaving your old reality to pursue the new one. So that's what it's saying. It says, leaving the old to get the new. Leaving whatever it is, this old energy that you've been stuck on, or whatever it is that you can't release, it's time for you to shed your old skin Right? And the abandonments and the disappointments and all that shit. Leave that shit alone and move on from all of that. Because it's like you keep thinking about all the all the negative things that can, that won't go right with this. All right. All this is negative thought, negative talking, talking to yourself. But whatever you are going through in your life, you will never go through it again. And that's what it's trying to tell you. It's a death that you got to end, that it's over with. And you got to move on. And that's what it's telling you. Stop being stuck. Move on. What's the problem? I walk away from negativity and I choose myself and rebel us a back of self-love. Okay? And that's what it means. All right? You are going to be, it's like you're coming into a whole new you and it's a makeover. All right? It's like, you need to let go of the old you and embrace the new you. And that's what it means. Let go of everything of you that was old and embrace this whole new you that's coming to you. Because you did the work. You did the hermit. And from the hermit, you must, you walk the valley. You walk through this. And nobody said it was easy. But why don't we let go and stop looking back and look forward? And what God has for you. Because it's pretty big. But you got to get it right. And you got to know when it's there. Or you're going to miss an opportunity. Alright? Alright Pisces, I'll talk to you later. If you need a reading, get it from me or someone else. Alright? Let go. Let go of your old ways. Stop standing in your own way. Stop trying to keep telling yourself. Well, I can't go back to that. Because that might be. Worse, it's like you don't even know what the hell it is. You, it's like you already have negative thoughts about a situation without even giving somebody a chance. Just because things went wrong in the past, don't mean they're going right. They're going to be wrong in the future. All right, you need to be knowing what you need to do. All right, and that's what you need to do. And if you're watching all these YouTube and all these channels that's telling you one thing and this telling you that and that telling why don't you take a break from YouTube and concentrate on what's in front of you and it's telling you to embrace, embrace this death, embrace the death, embrace everything 
all the layers that you got to let go of. Embrace it and stop living in the past. Embrace the new and stop living the past. Okay? All right, Pisces. I'll talk to you later.